Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. Today is day four of 30 blue inks, 30 days. And I learned an important yet difficult lesson from YouTube today. Since I'm a new YouTuber, I have to limit the length of my videos. And I'm a chatty Kathy, and my video was a little bit too long today. So I was trying to learn how to edit my video, which is also very new for me. And I accidentally deleted the whole video. So here we are again, recording another video, and this one will probably be very short, because um, all the pieces are already put together. So I wanted to start with my journal. Um, well, actually, let's start right here. Um, today's ink is Troublemaker Opon Channel Blue, and I have a sample. It came in this cute little sample bottle. Let's see if you can see that. Opon Channel Blue. And um, Troublemaker sells these sets of samples. You can't buy individual samples. You just buy the whole set of them. And I have actually bought two sets of samples, uh, but I don't think they're on the website anymore. They're, they're going through some changes, and you can't get things on the website anymore. But this is what it looks like. Um, it's a very dark greenish teal. And this is the first time that I have swatched it, so I really didn't know what it looked like before today. So this is my personal journal, and I wrote it down in my journal today, and I noticed that um, it looked very green compared to the other colors. Now this is more of a, of a blue-black, but this one definitely had a, a green cast to it. I'm just trying to make sure you can see that. I was a bit out of the frame yesterday, so I'm trying not to do that today. But I was thinking that this looked very green. So I wrote in my... Claire Fontaine notebook when I got home from work tonight and again here we are at uh, day four and again it's looking very green and in my little smear here it looks especially green yes I had some lovely light by the window earlier today when I was filming but now we're using artificial light and it's not quite as good but hopefully you'll get the idea so very greenish looking so I decided to uh, compare this to some of my other sample cards to see what colors I had that um, would compare to it. So since it was looking very greenish, I started with some of my greens. And that's Lamy Amazonite. Much lighter and much greener. And Lamy Tourmaline is very similar to that. Also much lighter and much greener. And there is Three Oysters Marine Green. We're getting a little bit closer. And there is California Teal. That is one of my favorite colors, but to me, that does not look like a teal at all. It looks green. Straight green, no blue, just green. But the name is California Teal. So colors can be misleading. And there we have Dye My November Rain. Um, again, very green compared to our color of the day. And there's Pelican, uh, Pelican Edelstein Olivine. Um, a gray green, but very different from this color. So then I tried some of my blues. There's Robert Oster Lake of Fire. Definitely blue. More in that um, kind of a blue gray color. But would you call that a teal? Are these both teals? It's, it's hard to say. Teal is one of those debatable words for me. And there's Sailor Yamadori. Maybe a little bit closer. Now here's an ink that we sampled the other day. That's Robert Oster Great Southern Ocean. And we're getting closer. That They're both about the same tone. They're both darker colors. They both have red sheen. But this one's definitely bluer and this one's definitely greener. And here we have Colorverse Monsoon Storm. Now this one's definitely closer. It's, it's that dark grayish color but with more of a green cast. And again that red sheen like Opon Channel Blue. And then here is another dark color, Organic Studio Ralph Waldo Emerson. Um, this was one of the first samples that I ever bought, and I'm afraid it might be drying out in the sample vial, because um, it's, it's a very thick ink. And I've never tried it before. This is the first time I've used it. Actually, I'm sorry, in May was the first time that I used it when I was doing my month of blue ink samples. And it was hard to get it out of the nib to write with. So if you have any experience with uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, could you let me know if your ink is very thick also? 
Um, perhaps it's just my sample, perhaps it is going bad, but I did want to um, swatch it to see what it looked like, and it's, it's a beautiful deep blue color with sheen, but again, this one is much greener than that one. And finally, we have Organic Studio Walden Pond Blue, and they're both dark colors, they both have red sheen, but again, this one has that green cast, like this one does. And I think these two are very similar. Let's move the other ones out of the way. Um, they're, I think they're very close, and I think it's so ironic. They're both called blue, Opon Channel Blue, Walden Pond Blue, but they're green. <laughs> So it, it's it's two green inks with a blue name, but uh, but I, I think these are about the the closest match that I have in my inks. And um, let me see my pen of the day. Well, I've misplaced it. My my pen for today was a Pilot Kakuno. I wanted to show you that I had pens other than Jin Hao's, but now it has run away from me. But um, it's it's a clear Pilot Kakuno that I filled up with the um, with the Opon Channel Blue. Um, so this is a, an abbreviated session tonight, but I hope this gives you an idea of what this color looks like. Um, definitely a teal. Is it blue? Is it green? I will leave that debate up to you. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos, please consider subscribing. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.